بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم our lecture today is screening public health screening is very important uh, topic in public health because it leads to detect early detection of disease which is the ultimate goal of any health system in the world why we do screening and why it is different from the uh, normal uh, or uh, routine medical care uh, because of the pattern of disease in hospitals is quite different from that in the community. Large proportion of cases of most disease uh, follows what is called the iceberg. Iceberg, the uh, small portion of the berg uh, above the uh, surface and the big portion is hidden in the, uh, uh, under the surface. Uh, also, the number of cases of as a community or as a population for some diseases like hypertension and diabetes hidden and not known. So screening is very important to unhidden these numbers to seek for medical care early before uh, before uh, complications appear. So the active search for disease among the apparently healthy people, this word is very important the apparently healthy because we do screening for those who are apparently healthy is secondary we, we uh, consider it is a second a second a second level of prevention early detection of disease leads to improved outcomes this is very important in screening to lead to early detection then which is the door for improved outcome in health of the population. How we do screening by examination of apparently healthy people is symptomatic to screen disease from and disease. So it is very important here the terms is symptomatic. People with no symptoms are screened to detect disease from undiseased by what? Clinically and using a diagnostic screening test. If the test screen test become positive, we need another course of confirmatory test to prove the diagnosis. But there are some assumptions to be taken into consideration for screening programs. These assumptions are, number one, the natural history of the disease is well known because any disease when low with no latent phase can't be screened easily because the latent period between the onset of the disease in apparently and the progression to the disease must be long enough to detect asymptomatic phase otherwise the screening programs will be non-effective the second consideration is the presence of valid diagnostic test to diagnose those with latent phase so the, the diagnostic test must be multi-spectrum how it can diagnose asymptomatic case, symptomatic cases at every stage of the disease. This is the valid diagnostic screening test. The effective tra treatment, otherwise it is not a screening test, it is a diagnostic test. The effective treatment, the second, third one is the effective treatment is available, must be available and the better outcome obtained if this treatment is applied for manifested case otherwise it is not effective screening program no one will be harmed with the test okay this we uh, go to it uh, in detail in ethical consideration number five is that the health problem is of public health importance i.e the prevalence of the health problem is high to justify the cost, the cost of the screening program. What is other uses other than early case detection is control of diseases, research purposes. We find research, many researches for screening of disease of um, uh, undiagnosed uh, or uh, unmanifested cases, identification, identification of high risk groups very important ethical considerations centered health care is an individual seek seeks contact with health service because of symptom but in the screening programs we offer the service to people who don't think that they have no they have no 
disease. So by screening, many will be positive and will be given a treatment, and some of them will be false positive and will be given unnecessary treatment, and the others will be false negative and they will not be given the treatment really. So these those people who are false positive and are false negative will be must be very info, uh, fully informed about the harms and the benefits of the screening. Z. There are two types of screening. Mass screening, if we get the whole population or subpopulation, is in uh, 100 million initiative. Egyptian one, Egyptian initiative, and the selective, the other type is the selective screening of all high risk groups, those with known risk factors. This is more cost effective, but it can miss many people from the population. The uh, mass screening is more uh, beneficial for the community. But the selective screening is very highly cost effective. When we do screening, the uh, mandatory subject is the screening test. We do screening by screening test. There must be, they are usually diagnostic test. Okay, it is more maybe lab diagnostic, maybe psychological diagnostic, maybe anything diagnostic of high validity or accuracy. That is to say, they, they must be sensitive and specific. They must be reliable, repeatable. What is the repeatable? If we do the same test for the same person at a time, the same result must be taken. It must be of low cost because we diagnose or do screening for large population or subpopulation or high number of people. It must be socially accepted, especially if very sensitive tests are used as breast examination or rectum for cancer prostate. It must be easily performed. If it's not easy, it is not a screening. It must be have no side effects or risk for the screen best. The validity of screening test, this part comes from uh, the uh, the uh, practical part of the public health, how we calculate the validity or sensitivity and the specificity, very simple. We do a two by two table. Uh, the uh, column have the screening test results and the uh, horizontal is the gold standard test. Gold standard is that one who diagnose is disease from non-disease, okay? So we have Gold standard disease positive and non disease negative, screening test positive or negative. A gold standard here in this example is 100 persons and non disease 100 persons, and so and this, uh, the screening test results as shown is 84 positive and 124 negative, and the to grand total is 200. And in the four cells of the two by two table, why is this why it is called the two by two? Because we have four cells is true positive, which is positive by both test, false negative, which is positive by the gold standard. I am sure that they are positive, but negative by the screen test. And those non disease, we have positive by that screen test, which is called the false positive and the true negative, which is negative by the two tests. If we divide A by A plus C, which is 100, this is called sensitivity. If we divide D by B, the B plus D, it is called specificity. As this is a result, 70% sensitivity and 90% specificity. Examples of screening test in the antenatal care, we have to do hemoglobin for anemia, measuring the blood pressure for hypertension, measuring blood sugar for diabetes mellitus, and RH for incompatibility. For school children, malnutrition and parasitic diseases are screened for, and for women above 40, breast cancer and cervical cancer, the best one by mammography and ultrasonography and cervical cancer by smear. So many, many screen tests are present all over the world and upgrading and the updating of the screen tests are the uh, subject of research all over the world. Okay, it is very important to detect 
Zeus and Deimos. Here we have 100 million health initiative of Egypt, a very successful program which uh, launched by Ministry of Health and Population. It is the largest screening program in history. The initiative aims primarily to eliminate HCV and detect and manage non-communicable disease, three of them hypertension, diabetes, and obesity. Okay, the target group was those four 18 uh, above 18 years of age and second school children were targeted. Why HCV is a priority cost effective? HCV zero positivity is 10% uh, are in a zero positivity is 7% of the population. So high number of population if our population was 100, 100 million. So if we calculate this prevalence rate, it will be the many millions have either chronic or have uh, infected before as antibodies choose. A significant number of current cases will be cirrhotic or liver cancer, which is very, uh, uh, very pressure, pressuring on the health of the individual and the burden of disease of the community because they take uh, so many and so time and decrease productivity of uh, the, uh, the individuals. So it is very important to treat HCV. New HCV infections are usually asymptomatic and they may take many decades to develop chronic state and the cure rate of antiviral drugs is more 95%. So when we diagnose cases, asymptomatic cases, the antiviral drugs will be very effective to cure them. No effective vaccine is present until now to, to prevent its occurrence. <coughs> and that is the past are only humans with uh, infected with HCV. This point is very important. It's very important because when we have a disease where animal reservoir is present, it's very difficult to control both human and animal reservoir. So it is easy to control diseases of human origin and when the transmission is human only. The campaign activities were training of screening teams, health professionals, and data entry operators. Number two is the awareness raising activities through mass media, boosters, and so on. Screening tests performed as screen size, and this is very important because uh, at primary health care units, governmental uh, hospitals, and mobile uh, mobile uh, cars, uh, this is very important to ease access of the population to the screening size and to know their uh, results immediately. This is a point of care. The service is uh, delivered as a point of care. Very important. This is this is uh, the, the most important point for success of this program. A screen tests performed are for HCV, a rapid test for qualitative detection of antibodies in human serum, blood, plasma, or blood. The rapid test was taken a drop of blood from the finger, some finger, some finger of the person. Uh, and the, uh, it appeared uh, in about 15 to 30 minutes, and this is very rapid test uh, comparable to other diagnostic tests. For hypertension, measurement of blood pressure known very soon when measuring. For diabetes, random blood sugar also known uh, soon. Uh, for obesity, height, and weight were done to calculate body mass index. The fourth activity is to referral of detected cases to complete the diagnosis and treatment freely, free of a charge, and this encourage course encourage population for screening. Uh, follow up of cases, follow up of cases uh, for HCV uh, during the course of treatment and uh, about three months after uh, end of the treatment to be sure that free uh, the person become free of virus. Okay. Two other activities are performed. Within the activities, the other activities, these are, these are monitoring and evaluation of the program, okay, by the WHO country office, uh, and uh, 
there are uh, field uh, field basis uh, auditing of care and uh, ensuring the validity of data and uh, the other uh, thing was the automated information system the information technology was very highly uh, appreciate, appreciating uh, appreciated during this uh, program because uh, all data are reported immediately and uh, linked with the ID of the persons of the population. It was uh, very accurate and uh, the follow-up is done. So here we find that we, we apply the screening tool of the public health. We apply the surveillance tool of public health. Okay, so it is very important initiative and public health tools are applied for and the success rate was very high it was about about four nine millions from the 15 50 millions were screened and followed thank you for your attention and our references as usual is the powerpoint presentation casalaini book of public health okay thank you and see you in the next lecture thank you